So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. This is where your mass code is inside again. And today we will be solving another POTT. So this question was asked in Amazon and I consider it as a very good question if you want to get a full understanding of graph. This question can help you understand that what is your current level of graph, right? This is a hard level problem. If you are not able to solve it, no problem. Honestly, I was also not able to solve it in my fifth attempt also, alright? I had to watch a video, I had to watch the explanation, then only I was able to reach the conclusion. But yes, I have understood it now and I am pretty sure that I will make you understand also. So, be, with, be there with me, focus and we will crack the problem together. So today's problem is find all critical connections in the graph. Okay, what does a critical connection mean? Right, what does a critical connection mean? Everyone is familiar with the term graph, right? I think that all of you know about graph. Now, critical connection is a connection, is an edge which, if removed, breaks the graph into two, into two different connected components. That is, you can see a graph here as an example 1 2 3 4 5 6 up till 12 right so let us identify what are the uh, different critical connections so if i break this edge if i break this edge let us remove this edge right now you can see the graph is still connected right i can reach any node through any node one can, uh, one can reach two two can reach one one can reach four four can reach three three can reach two right four can reach five five six Every node can be every node is reachable. So in that case, this node, this oh sorry, this uh, edge is not in critical connection. It is not in critical connection. Coming to this edge, suppose if you break it, if you break two to three, then two and three are still reachable. Two one four three, yes, they are still reachable. Two one four five again reachable. Three four five, yes. So it is still a connected component. So this is also not a critical connection. Talking about 4 and 3, if we break the connection of 4 and 3, yes, the graph is still connected because 3 can reach 4 through this path. Correct? It is still connected. If we, So it is also not a critical connection. If we break 1 to 4, like if we break this edge, then 4 can be reached through 1, right? How? 1, like uh, taking this path. Correct? So 1, 2, 3, 4. C connected component so it is also not our valid answer but if we break four to five connection if we break this edge then is there any way to reach four, uh, five from four i don't think so if there if we break this connection then there is no way that we can reach uh, five with the help of four or four with the help of five or any of this con uh, component with this component that is breaking of this edge will break uh, the graph into two components that one component is 1 2 3 4 and another component is 5 to 12 right okay so this is my valid answer so 4 comma 5 is one of my valid answer moving on if i break this edge 5 to 6 if i break 5 to 6th edge is it possible for me to reach uh, is, uh, is it possible to for me to say that it is a connected component no if i break this edge then this component will be different from this component right i have i hope we are on the same page correct so this is also my one of the critical connections moving forward again if we break 6 to 7 i uh, will the graph be uh, graph connection will be changed no because why 7 is still reachable it is still a connected component right 6 9 8 7 still reachable 7 8 9 6 still reachable correct similarly if we remove 6 to 9 still reachable you can try it for 8 also you can try it but if we try for 8 to 10 if you break this again one of the component will become this another will be the upward so my another vector in the answer will be 8 to 10 right these are the my these are my three edges which if removed will break the graph into two or more components so this will be my answer my answer will look something like 4 to 5 5 to 6 8 to 10 this is my answer accept it okay the answer will be accepted all right now it has been given that there will be at least one edge suppose 
or at least one edge in the answer it has been given all right and secondly we have to present our answer in sorted order sorted both how sorted the internal vector should also be sorted and the external vector should also be sorted okay that is easier to handle don't don't worry about that we just have to see how can we reach so the brute force approach the approach which is loved by most of the engineers most of the dsc aspirants is the brute force approach that interviewer asks this and our works become easy but it not, does not work like that brute force approach is the approach that you have to mention first and then draw a path till the optimized approach all right so brute force approach brute force approach it works something like we did right, right now what did we do we go uh, we went to each path we went to each edge removed it checked if it's still a connected component if yes then if it is still, connect, still a connected component then continue otherwise if it is not a connected component after removing this then the uh, edge will be added to the answer right so brute force approach is clear to you that is uh, check all the edges what i what do i mean by check check means if after removal of the edge graph does not remain connected then it is a potential critical connection right but what is the time complexity so let's suppose we have v edges and e v vertices and e edges then i will have to traverse e edges that is o of e will be added now to traverse and find out connected component i will require v plus e time so it is actually going to a square value right we have to see if we can uh, if we can what do we say if we can optimize it right so we have to move to the optimized solution so let us draw the graph again so this is the graph for uh, for the optimized solution but before discussing the optimized solution let us come back to this approach so when i was discussing about this edge of removing so i was saying you that check uh, for all the connected components if the total graph is a connected component right but is it really necessary i don't think so if this edge is removed what are the two connections which are what are the two nodes which are getting affected this is this node and this node so if somehow i check that if two is still connected to three then the graph will remain connected right because only this edge is moving so why do you have to check for the all of the graph so if it is still possible to reach three from two or two from three then it is a it is not a bridge right but if it is not possible such as in this case if i remove this graph if uh, this edge then four to five is not connected right in that case it will be a connect, uh, critical connection right so i will be using this approach in my optimal solution what I will be doing is I will keep two arrays. One for introduction time. And one for uh, what do we say? Yeah, lowest time. What do I mean by lowest time and introduction time? Introduction time means when I was introduced introduced when I was introduced in traversal. Introduced. in traversal and what do i mean by lowest time by lowest time it means the lowest insertion time of all adjacent nodes of all adjacent nodes apart from parent node apart from parent node we will discuss why right so what I'm saying is, let us start from one, right? Let us start from one. So one got introduced into the uh, into the DFS at time one. Lowest time is also one, right? Let us draw the DFS also side by side. Let me shift it down. So I started my DFS call from one, correct? 
I went to 2. I am taking this direction right now. I went to 2. Correct. I went to 4. Oh, sorry, 2's introduction time is 2. And lowest time is also 2, right? Lowest time to reach 2 is 2 right now. I went to 4 from 2, right? DFS call for 4, right? When I went to 4, I realized its uh, introduction time is 3. And its, uh, what do we say? Lowest time is also 3, right? When I went to 3 right now, then from 4 I went to 3. Introduction time is 4 and lowest time is 4, correct? Now 3 has two connections. Either it can go to 5 or it can go to uh, 1. Now 1 is already visited. So if 1 is already visited and 1 is not a parent, 3 can either go to 4 also, right? But 4 is its parent, so it will skip it. So 1 is not its parent and 1 is already visited. So I will decrease my lowest time. Why will I decrease my lowest time? See, there are two ways to reach 3 from 1. What are the ways? It can be this node and this root, right? So if I want, uh, if I came from this root, I saw that lowest time was 4. But if I coming from this root, I will see the lowest time to reach 1 is 1. So I will update my lowest time accordingly. I will take it to 1, right? So I updated it. Done. Now 3 to 5. 5 is discovered at 5. And lowest time to reach 5 up till now is 4 plus 1. I will not use this one right now. I will use the previous one only. 4 plus 1 that is 5. After that, I will go to 6. 5 has connection of 6. Right? 6 also 6, 6. Correct? I think I'm not wrong here. Then I will go to 7. 7 also 7, 7. Then I will go to 8. 8 also 8, 8. Now 8 has two connections. Either to go to 10 or to go to 9. So let us do the 9s first, then I will go to 10. So when I go to 9, it's 9, 9. Correct? Okay. Now 9 has connection 6. 9 has connection 6. But 6 is already visited. And when what do we do when we uh, encounter a visited? When the, uh, whenever we encounter a visited, we update the lowest time of the current node. It is not a parent. So lowest time is 6, which is less than 9. Updated 6. Right? Updated it 6. Recursion call for DFS of 9 is finished. It returns back to 8. When it returns back to 8. Now the main concept arise. So please focus. Please stay on the same page with me. It returns back to 8. Now 8 and 9 have a discussion to make. 8 says that you went through this path. Right. So if I break this path. Is there a possible way that you could reach me? 9 says that I was discovered at 9. My lowest time to reach is 6. 8 says my I was discovered at 8. My lowest time to reach is 8. Okay. Now, if I was discovered at 8 and my lowest time to reach is 6, that, that means I have a connection which was reached at 6. That means there is a possible way that if this connection was break, I can come through this way because if you are reached at 8 and I can reach through a node whose uh, minimum time is 6, that means I can reach without you till there. That means we are still connected if we break this connection. And what does that mean? That is, if we break this connection, if we break this connection, we are still connected. And what does this mean? This means that the edge we are talking about we are talking about is not a, what do we say is not a potential answer right what is a potential answer if they are not able to reach everyone but they are able to reach that is why it is not a potential answer correct so the story for this edge uh, remains unsolved that uh, sorry not unsolved it is not an answer this is solved right uh, returning back to the algorithm we went to a 10 so 10 10 correct 10 went to 11, 11, 11, correct. 11 went to 12, 12, 12, correct. 12 sees that 10 is already visited. 12 has a connection 10, not a parent, but already visited. So if it is already visited, update your lowest time to reach. It will become 10, correct. 12 will return its call to the 11. Okay. 11 will see that your lowest time to reach is 10 and my time of introduction was 11 so there is a way present that you can reach me without this edge that means this is not a potential answer right 
I think we are on the same page. If there is any comment, uh, if there is any doubt, please comment in the comment section. I will surely solve it. And I am very particular about solving my students' doubt, right? I have tried to solve as much as possible. So 11 is reached. Now 11 will return its call to 10, right? Also, while update, uh, while checking the connection, I will also update, right? Because 11 is a uh, connection of 12. 11 is a parent of 12, right? So if it, it is impossible to reach 12 in 10 time, then also it is possible to reach 11 in 10 time, correct? So if 11 and 10 are connect, uh, compared, correct? So 10 says introduction time for me is 10. 11 says lowest time 10. That means if we remove this connection, still possible to reach 10, 12, 11. Possible? So it is not a possible answer, correct? 10 will return to 8. Now when 10 will return to 8, it will see the lowest time to reach 10 is 10. But the time of introduction of 8 was 8. If time of introduction of 8 was 8 and lowest time is 10, that means the path, every path would have been gone through this connection. That is why it is 10 right now. If this is greater than if, let me mention, I have a parent, I have a child. Whenever child is returning its DFS call to parent, it will see if time of parent is greater than equals to lowest of child. That means parent and child will remain connected, will remain connected even if the edge between them is removed. But if this condition fails, that means T parent is less than T child. That means if I have to reach the child, I will have to go through parent. There is no other way. I will have to use that edge. In that case, that means else, that edge is a, uh, uh, what do we say? What is the name? It was the name of critical connection, right? Is a critical connection. Right. I hope you are able to understand. If not, please engage with the comment section. I will surely get back to you. Right. I will surely get back to you. Now, eight to ten is covered. Let us save it somewhere. Suppose eight to ten is our answer. Right now. Right. Moving forward, eight recursion call is also finished. Eight will return back to seven. Also, eight seven. Right. Eight was coming through seven, but when nine was returning. 9 uh, 9's lowest value was 6 so I forgot to update it 8 will also convert to 6 because 9 is reaching 6 so 8 is also reaching through 6 so now 6 is less than equals to 7 so again not a potential connection correct 6 change it to 6 if 8 is able to reach through a node uh, with the lowest time of 6 then 7 is also possible right now 6 here 6 here equal values if they are equal then also it is not a potential connection right correct okay remove this and move forward 6 is equal to 6, so there is no change uh, in the lowest time, correct? This call is also written. Now 6 returns to 5. When 6 returns to 5, we observe that lowest time of 6 is greater than lowest time of, uh, is greater than introduction time of 5. So this is an edge that is a potential thread, that is a critical connection. So 5 to 6 is another edge, that is a potential answer, correct? 5 to 3, another call. 5 to 3. Now, Lowest time to reach 5 is 5. Introduction time of 3 is 4. Again, a potential threat. So this is also an edge that we can be unsure about. Oh, sorry, not sure, but this is a critical connection. So 3 to 5 is also one of our answer. Correct? Okay. This also done. 3 to 4. 3 to 4. I see the lowest time to reach is 3. Introduction time is 3. No threat. 4 to 2. Lowest time also change it to 1. Correct? Lowest time is 1, 2, no, no threat, right? Change it to 1. Lowest time is 1, introduction time is 1, no threat, okay? DFS call finishes and we have 3 edges in our hand that is 8, 10, 5, 6, 3, 5. Let me note it down right, uh, in, let me note it down here only. Now, I was told to return the answer in sorted order, both the internal vectors and the outside vector of vector, right? For that, what I will do, I will run a loop through my answer, run a loop through my answer right i will sort each of them that is 
uh, 8 to 10 will convert to 8 to 10 only 5 to 6 they are actually sorted right now what i will do is after that i will sort the answer using the c++ inbuilt library all right so this was my algorithm for today hope you liked it and please stay with me because i am going to code it down for you okay so guys we have got our vector of int adj as graph and a number of points in the graph right so you all remember we needed a vector of int of t input right t in let me name it as t in v minus one right it has not been visited yet if it is minus one it has not been visited yet okay and another one was for vector int and it will be named as lowest right it is also let's say y, v of minus one only I, to facilitate my approach i will use a vector int parent to see uh, which was a parent of the node when it was getting introduced so let me name it as parent v of minus one right now all of these will be used in the dfs function also right so now let me make an answer also vector of let me make that answer in the outside that is globally control c control x sorry because it will it will be used in a dfs so i will not be uh, i don't want to send it again and again it's vector or vector of int answer correct now for int i going from 0 up till v i plus plus if it is not visited if it is not visited that it has not been introduced and if it has not been introduced in the dfs that means t of n is minus 1 that is if t of n of i is equal to equals to minus one that means it has not been visited in that case dfs dfs start the node send t in send lowest send parent and at last send my graph right okay now suppose we have got our answer now for int i equals to zero i less than ans dot size i plus plus sort ans i dot begin it is actually a two uh, it is actually a array of size two so it will take only one operation ans i dot end at last sort your main array main answer ans dot begin ans dot end this will be my driver code and at last return your answer this will be my driver code so our only task remaining is the DFS and we already know how to write a DFS we are pro at it right so void DFS DFS inputs are int node vector of int send it by reference t input vector of int send it by reference lowest vector of int send it by reference parent and my graph vector of int a d j right first step of dfs is t input of my node is equals to lowest of my node is equals to time plus plus now i will have to keep a time also so i will keep it globally initially it's what it was zero time plus plus for the future purposes i am incrementing it now for int i going from zero up till my all the connections in my uh, node adj node dot size i plus plus let us suppose that node is v int v equals to adj of that node and that i now if my t in of v is equals to equals to minus one that is the dfs of v has not been conducted yet so what do we do we'll make make our parent of v as u and I will send it for TFS. DFS, send your node V, send your T in, send your lowest, and send your parent array, and send your ADG. Right? All right. Now, if my lowest of V is greater than my T in of U, that is, it is a potential threat, it is a critical connection. In that case, answer dot pushback lowest sorry answer dot pushback v 
and u right that edge and then else my lowest of u will become my minimum that was uh, what that was what we are doing is lowest of minimum will become lowest of u comma lowest of v right but this was if condition that v, uh, v is not visited yet but if v is visited and v is not equal to parent that means else if t in of v is actually greater than uh, minus one let's say minus one only and my v is not equals to parent of u in that case low of u lowest of u will again change because lowest was taking keeping track of the lowest time to reach except from the parent so it will again change lowest of lowest of u let me make the bracket here lowest of u with lowest of lowest of v right done and this was all for my dfs call let us try to submit it in the meantime please subscribe to my channel so sorry guys so sorry At, uh, actually when i was practicing it back then i was using u instead of node so whether you got confused so it is u here right or you can use node instead of u whichever wherever i mentioned i will just change the answers right node u i think i changed them let us try to combine and run it it is running fine for the combined run case let's try it for submit also hope it will work in the meantime please subscribe to my channel and you can see the counter going up really crazy and it has been a 61 day streak thank you for showing your love thank you for supporting me and please keep watching my content i will bring such more content to you and that's all from my side we'll meet tomorrow till then please keep coding hustle hard because placement season is not so far away so buckle up and pull your socks up and do coding as much as you can okay we'll meet tomorrow have a nice day